What's up guys, my name is Ian aka Vengeful Soul and I am back once again with a War of the Immortals video after a long time of not uploading War of the Immortals at all. Uh, I'm sorry about that by the way. I just haven't really had time to record. I've had a lot of real life stuff to deal with so I haven't really been able to record. <laughs> um, you'll probably notice I am using a new character at the current time and my reasoning for that is I actually switched servers. I am no longer on the official War of the Immortal server, instead I am on a private server called WOI Destruction, and I will leave a link to the website and to the official game if you'd like to check that out, and if you haven't seen it yet, in the description below. Uh, so the difference between this server and the official server, which you are about to see, is this. The experience rate. Notice that one kill took me from level 1 to level 6. Then this took me from level 6 to level 8. And that took me from level 8 to level 9. WOI Destruction is a private server that gives 100% or er, 100 times the experience rate of the official server and 100 times the drop rate of the official server. And so I thought it would be pretty cool to just try it out. I have a couple other characters on here, but I figure maybe I should try out a series because you'll see me getting a lot stronger on this server than I would on the official server because of the experience rate. <laughs> Another good thing about this server compared to the other private servers is this has a feature where every hour you s your character stays online whether you're doing anything or not, you get 1,500 zen for free. And for those of you that don't know, Zen on the official server is what you usually have to pay actual cash for, like real money for. So I think it's pretty cool that they give it away on here. It also helps a lot of people gear up. And can I buy any bag expansions before I get this too, too annoying? Six, alright. I'll just save those for later. But, yeah, I, as you can see, I just casually went into the Zen store there and bought six bag expansions which a lot of people wouldn't even waste their time with because it would usually cost it'd be like four bag expansions for a dollar which doesn't seem like much but if you're poor like I am that's actually a lot <laughs> so it's nice that it comes with a uh, comes with that little 1500 Zen per hour feature I thoroughly enjoy that um, is that an AOE? No, alright, cool. Is it? No, it's not. Sweet. Uh, another thing is I decided on this server I'm going to try out the Harbinger class. I know nothing of this class. I mean, I know a little bit. I played it on the official server, but I didn't get very far with it because I didn't understand it well enough. I still don't understand it very well. If I make any mistakes, I'm sorry, but I'm warning you in advance, I do not really know about this class. So I can almost guarantee I'm going to be making mistakes at some point, doing something. <laughs> Just warning you in advance. So as you can see, I'm still in the tutorial, and I'm already level 17. That should show how ridiculous the experience rate is. And once I get out of here, you'll see the drop rate after I get to the like, Forsaken Ruins scenarios. And on on this series, I'm probably not going to be doing a lot of the storyline quests. I mean, I will, but that's going to be later on. First, I'm going to get to a high level, because that will not take very long at all. I already have... Ooh, how many characters? I've got... I believe I have four characters. And out of all four of those characters, my lowest level is... Ooh, what level is it? What level is it? I think my lowest level is 118. Because I have a 118, I have a 125, and I have a 130. Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, that's right. Alright. I had to think about that for a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm sorry if this is going to bore you going through the tutorials and whatnot, but... I've got to do it, and I didn't want to skip over all that stuff and then be ridiculously high level, and then a lot of you be like, what? What just happened? And... Warlands. 
It helps that I already know how to do a lot of the stuff on the game, so I can breeze through this pretty quickly. Yay, level 18. The funny thing I thought about this server was the quests give the regular experience that it says on the quest rather than a hundred times like it did on uh, Genesis when I played WOI Genesis. I think it was Genesis. I'm sorry, my memory is horrible. If I mess up, then just know that I am telling you my memory is horrible. <laughs> it was some private server I played, the quests even gave like 100%, like 100x, not 100%, why do I keep saying that? 100 times the experience of the official server. <laughs> so, as I was saying, I'm not sure if I finished it, but I am planning on doing a bunch of bunch of uh, instances such as Magneto, Spectre Island, stuff like that to get up to really high level because one run of Magnetos on this server from level 40 will take me up to almost level 70 and if you don't believe me I will show you I'm going to get I will get to Magnetos in this video and after I run through it once that's when I will end this introduction video just so you can see the true power of this 100 times experience rate because it's kind of ridiculous and another thing I'll be doing for this particular series is I'm going to be stockpiling Zen on this character specifically. I already got 1,540. I had 1,543 before I bought the bag expansion, but that's because I have another character on this account. But I'm going to be stockpiling Zen rather than selling it for this ridiculous price right here, which a lot of people would love to sell it for. I will just be stockpiling it and having certain specials where I open a bunch of these or a bunch of these, just a bunch of packs, just so I can see what I get. And they aren't going to be very long videos and they might be boring, but I'll see what I can do. I might have to just play some music or something along those lines, just so it doesn't bore you all to death. I know it would be boring to me to just have me sitting in one spot and just rapidly clicking on on packs to open them just to s see if I possibly get an expensive item from it because it's hard to get expensive items on here but once you get them you have all this that I usually have hidden let me see we've got um where's a good one uh any good pets here nope all right never mind I will not worry about that but basically a lot of the strong people on this server com on the official server the strongest character I think I've ever seen is a character named Goldmist on the Midgard server and Goldmist has a I think like a hundred thousand comp or something like that but on this server a hundred thousand comp is spread out among most of the top players like right here, 173,000, 165,000. This is a GM, but that's, that's beside the point. It's a GM. I don't care. And what's all you? What else you got? See level 15 gems, all that. That shows he's a GM because you can't get level 15 gems. Level 8 is the highest. But here's an actual character. See, DJS. You have level 7 and 8 gems over here. 141,000 power, and that's just a lot of a lot of people have 100,000. The entire top, doo -doo 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 -doo. the entire s top 73, all have over 100,000, and some of the others probably have 100,000. It's just not showing because it takes a little while to update on this game. So, you will be seeing, if you do decide to play this, you will be seeing a lot of really high-level people. You will be seeing a lot of people opening Zen packs. You will see spamming and the war cries, which is it's a game wide to all servers uh, chat thing, which is this blue highlighted thing that says war cry here. That goes to all eight servers or, or channels or however they call it, realms, something like that. And you'll see a bunch of that spamming, and then you'll see a bunch of Olympian pets, which are pets like Dark Venus, Aphrodite. Um, the wild and wise Apollos, those those kinds of things. Mm, I'm not sure how to build a Harbinger. Honestly, I've been told to go pure Int by some, but I've been told to go pure Spirit by some because the auras and such are based on Spirit. And I think Soul Sting has to do with MP. 
Yeah. Um, crap, I don't even know. Harbinger, primary is spirit. Um, I'm guessing that means I'm gonna get most of my, most of my gear upping my spirit, so I'll go int. I want to have a nice balance of int and spirit. Oh, um, yeah, this, this is not going to be the whole series with me just like running around doing quests and rambling about random shit. This is just what I'm doing in the introduction video. Just to introduce you all to the game and or the private server and just to show you show you all around. Eh, what should I? I will summon this guy because he has hunter strike, which is a strong attack. Boom. And an example for an end game. Well, not really a good example for an end game, but an example of how hard it is to get high power on this server, I will quickly go over to my Slayer, my level 120 Slayer. Boom. I'm farming right now, but you see this right here? 39,000 power. I've got full deity. I've got level 4 Stardust. Well, level 3 and 4 Stardust. And I've got uh, this right here, level 10 Platinum Chalice, Oracle Mail, which pretty much everyone has, and level 10 Soul Jade, all this. I am one of the weakest people on the game in terms of power. Let me see what I'm ranked. I'm not even ranked on this. The lowest on the, on the total rank is 48,000. And then for me, I'm ranked 45 for Slayers. That's not right. That, that cannot be right. Yeah, no? What the heck? Do I really ranked 45? That's insane. There must not be very many slayers. Eh. Oh well, that's an example of how ridiculous the power level on this server actually is. Let me see, I've got 30, 45, 60, 70. I'm probably not going to waste my bag expansion until I get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Alright. I might have to use some Zen for two more bag expansions. But, yeah, that's just an example. Oh, and also for the pets, as you can see here, I've got boss pet, boss pet, boss pet, boss pet, boss pet, and the Twilight Queen, which is one of the pieces for the Apollo. And these, this pet right here is not really considered that good with all of the these fortify skills it has on it even though I fuse with it and it gives like 6,000 physical attack, it's not really considered that good of a pet. Because the pet rankings, I know you might not care about this, but pet rankings, that that's not right. Can I just find one that actually works? Because these are all ridiculous powers and I don't think that's right. Mm, Kaiza, crazy. Oh, okay, here we go, here's one of the strong pets. How, how, what? That's a hacked pet. Either that or it's a GM. It's gotta be a GM. Um... I don't know, I might... Yeah, it's, it's gotta be a GM. Come on, give me something. Okay, here is a player's pet. This is one of the strongest pets on the game with 89,000 power. Inspired nature, 105 from max growth, full fortify skills. These are the general pets for high level people on the game. So my little, my little boss pet over there isn't that good. Mm, give me that. Then need to find the big one and kill it. Die. I said die. Thank you. Mm. Boom. So if any of you have any questions about War of the Immortals in general, you can feel free to ask me. I will help the best I can. The things I can't really help with are ways to make money, which I know is going to be a very common thing. But for the official server, best thing I could say for way to make money is Pyramid Hallucination, or Halu Pyramid as a lot of people call it. That's what I've seen to be the best way, but I haven't been on the official server in a long time. There was a period where I didn't play the official server for... Ooh, I don't even know how long. Like, this sign-in thing, I wasn't even playing. I, wa 
I wasn't even playing the server when this came out, the sign-in thing. And the Feats of Heroism, I think that's just a Cult of the Worm thing, which is a recent expansion on this. But, yeah, a any other questions other than how to make money? I can probably help with. Like, ways to get pets, what focus orbs are good, well, what focus orbs are good, I'm not sure. I might be able to help with that, depends on the type of pet, to be honest. But just, and just, whatever, just ask any questions you want, and I will answer them to the best of my ability. How about that? <laughs> ah, man. And you die. You die. Give me a level up. Give me a level up. You didn't even give me a level up. You both suck. Don't need this. Don't need this. I never keep those. <laughs> Especially on this. Oops. Especially on this server. Because I get 1500 zen each hour. And I could just buy three of those every hour. If I really wanted to. Well, if I was, if I was high enough level. But you know what I mean. I, it, it, yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to stop. And I will cease my rambling ways. Don't worry. Let's go over here and kill this thing, and kill this thing. Go over here and kill this thing. Then kill this, kill that because it won't leave me alone. And then kill this and complete my quest. Yay. Oh, armor. Poof. And just like that, level 24. Do, 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 do. Need one more level to get my first AoE. And another thing, if any of you have played Harbinger and like know about the Harbinger, I would really appreciate the help because if I'm going to be doing an entire series as a Harbinger, I need to know about the Harbinger. You know, you know what I mean. <laughs> Don't want to be going in blind to PvP or anything like that. So just. Help me out if you guys have played a Harbinger. Eh, let me just rapidly click this. This would that's about what I would be clicking at to open the packs. That's why it would be a boring video. You'd just be hearing me rapidly click. Swift rescue, boom, destroy the witch. Boots. Then deconstruct the old ones. I was thinking of doing a tutorial thing on this, but this is going in the same playlist as my actual WOI tutorials for the official server. And the stuff like the deconstructing and the fortification and all that, I'm pretty sure I cover those in my videos. If I don't, then I'm sorry. I will just end up making a new character on this server to do tutorials like that. Okay. You die, you die, and you die. Cool. Oops, I didn't even attack that thing. Leave it to my pet to take all the kills. Ah, it's coming for me, help. Ah, it's coming for me! It's coming for me! Bye bye. Captain Singet, or Singlet, or Singlet, or something. Whatever. There's that, then I go to Drowned Prisoner. <sighs> Only 14 levels to go. Okay, my AoE is gonna go here, just like on my mage. And I need to be level 30 to upgrade any of my shit, so I'll just wait for that. One thing I like is the fact that, th it was a while ago, but the fact that they updated it to where stuff doesn't cost coins from level 1, because that's kind of ridiculous for little poor poor noobs like me would have to pay coins just to get a skill leveled up from like level 1 to 2. It was really sad. But luckily they have it fixed now to where only certain skills do that. And die, all of you. No, you don't want to die? Okay, fine, I'll just kill you individually. You're dead. You're dead. And you're dead. Where's my... Wh when do I get that buff that lasts a long time? 
That one, okay, transcendence, okay, I'm good. What the heck? No idea what that is. Whoa, 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 hello, hello. Okay, I need this, and boom, all of you are dead. Whee! Whee! Next set, please. Why -ah. Oh, man. That's a lot of items. That is a lot of items. And there's the drop rate for you. Every single one of those 25 liberation things dropped something. Done. Cool. Then I will just deconstruct this. And use that because I don't need the demon or the undead ones anymore. At least I don't believe so. I think these are all humanoid. Oh, crap. I gotta get these things out of the way. Really? 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 Come over here. Come on. Hit the mine. Hit the mine. Thank you. Next. Man, would you stop that? Oh crap. Come over here. Thank you. Thank you. Just follow me. Don't worry about my pet. Just follow me. You're all dead. Feats of heroism. So for those of you that don't know about the feats of heroism, I guess I will go ahead and cover those because that's something that wouldn't have been covered in my last tutorial because I didn't have it available in the other stuff. So these feats of heroism are basically a feature where you ha have goals and like reach soul level 3, these are the low level goals, but complete the Magneto's story, reach level 45, that kind of thing. Every one of these episodes has a certain set of stuff that you need to do. And down in like episode 13 here is when it gets really difficult because you have to equip four oracle accessories which are the stuff that you can only get with oracle origins which are extremely hard to come by unless you're in the top legions because they're the ones that do Osiris Revenge to get oracle origins. And they have three different or two different tabs here really. All with different stuff for different things like this is for the scenario quests, all the way down to Lost Sea. This is for Merit, which is what you earn in the Herald of Darkness event, I believe. This is for killing world bosses, down to fi over 5,000 world bosses, which is ridiculous for only 5 gem chests. I don't think that's worth it. The Necronomicon, down to 4,500 bosses, which also I don't think is worth it, because Infernal Crystals are easy to come by in his. And then just so on, just all this different stuff for different parts of the game, just for different goals to unlock this, unlock like titles and everything. And as you get titles, they give you, see this, down there it says next level, max HP plus 100, max MP plus 100. They get stronger as you go down, and you can equip them on top of your titles, which are another means of getting... Ooh, what was I going to say? Which is another means of getting extra stats, I guess. I think that was what I was going to say. Uh, I'm waiting for another set of Zen, but it's not going to come for a while, I guess. Yay, now I'm level 30, so now I can upgrade my skills. And I can w receive this here. Upgrade. Do do. Do do. Alright. Alright. Done. Done and done. Okay, ten more levels to go. Okay, you're done. Reach level sixty. All right, so I'm, gonna, I'm only gonna have to buy one bag expansion, I guess, because level sixty will be achieved by the end of this video. And I'm I'm sorry if this is a long video, but I'm just trying to at least get out to Magnetos so I can just at least show you the true experience rate of this game 
because it's ridiculous how quickly you level up when you do instances. Even in normal Magnetos, the experience rate is stupidly high. And back to undead, so I will do that and kill everything. Dead, dead, and dead. I'll take that, 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 and that. Just so I can deconstruct these for more ether, or ether, or however you want to say it. Get rid of those. Front line, done. Yay, level 32. Yay, belt. Die. Um, now I have to kill these things over here. Just going to go in the middle here and just poof. No, didn't kill him. That sucks. Got close. And they're all dead. Sweet. I don't know why I'm automatically looting stuff, but I will take it. Oh, I have a Heaven's Feather. Wonder when I got that. <laughs> yeah, up here you can see Heaven's Feather, loot, I loot items automatically. It's available for six hours. Done. Level 33, seven levels to go, and I have six points that I can distribute. Raw stones. Man, why do I keep getting those? Go away. I don't need you. I don't need you either. Go away. Goodness. One out of five. So, uh, I'm hoping that you guys enjoy my random rambling as I play this game. If you don't, I am sorry, but this is all I can really do. So, yeah. Whatever, I'll clip this. Because it lasts longer than this. And I need one more raw stone. That fashion looks so stupid. That looks worse, so whatever. Done. Go back to this guy. Anyone linking Olympian pets or anything like that? Come on. Oh, here's another high level guy. Yeah, 90k power. <laughs> okay, and you all go away now. Except deconstruct and infuse. I've got to freaking deconstruct this now so I can complete the quest. Then I have to infuse it in this. Done. And then uh, go over to here. I need to get through this stuff and then run Magnetos, then I will end the video. I should only have... I shouldn't even have another set. Do, 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 do. Then talk to him. Level 35. Five levels to go. And then I can finally run Magnetos. Fortify. 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 And fortify. Now I have my mount. Then do I have to run all the way back to him? Can I teleport back? Or can I just ride my mount? If I can't teleport back, I'll just ride my mount. Okay, I'll just teleport back. It's easier. It's much quicker that way. My next set should be the real drowned prison, and then after that I should be able to get into Atlantis and get this over with. I'm I'm again apologizing for the length of this video, but I figure if I'm going to start the series, I'm, I should start it off strong by getting all the way up to the first instance and running through the instance. Okay. Oh, I am following a rock. And in four levels, I'm going to have my three hit 
attack, and I'm going to have my first silence, or sleep, or whatever it is. Sleep, that's what it is. And my first aura, that's what's going to really matter. The auras I hear are the staple for Harbingers, because they are ridiculously overpowered, from what I hear. I am not sure, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but what I've heard is that they're ridiculous. Okay, just to make this quick, I am going to go boom, kill all five of them, and level up and get all my rage back. Yay! Battle is through a go. Then, deconstruct. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Oops. Boom. And you're dead. And deconstruct you. Another thing, if you all want me to do a tutorial series through destruction, just let me know. Because what I'm planning on is just getting really strong and then just showing you power, powerful PvPs and whatnot. But if you wish to have a tutorial or something like that, then I will gladly do a tutorial instead. Because this may be entertaining for me to listen to myself talking, but... <laughs> It might. I want to entertain all of you, and it might be more entertaining if I teach you as I go instead of just running through stuff. And once I get to a high level, I will be doing tutorials on instances that I haven't run yet to show people that may not be familiar with the game how to do certain instances, how to get through them, and all that. But I will be naming them, like, I will include tutorial in the name of the video or something like that. Do, 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 do. Where are they? Die. And die. And you over here, die. Cool. Four more, then I have to kill the commando. Come on. These things spawn so slow. Need one more. Dead. Those no turning back. Yes, the way out. Yes. And now I'm going to be able to hit level forty. Oh. Well then, that was a failure on my part. Mm, got it on video. Yay! <laughs> I don't even know why I rushed to deconstruct that, but that just happened. Well, it's not an important piece of gear anyway. Once I get to level 90 or whatever, I'll be able to get better stuff. Oh no. My pet's gonna have to kill you, isn't it? Dead, 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 dead. Oh my gosh, fine, my pet'll just kill you. Wouldn't let me attack. And I'm stunned, even after death. Even in death she serves. way out. Complete quest. And seal the prison. Then I'll be level 41. I'm not going to deconstruct it this time. Then I can do this. Yeah. Oh, hold up. Which one should I get rid of? Intellect, vitality, magic attack, dexterity, vitality, accuracy. Boom. Good, I got rid of the right one. Seal the prison and give me level 41. I'll accept that quest, but I'm not going to bother with it. And get rid of those. And run through Magnetos. So we are about to come up on the end of the video, guys. Yay! You, 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 and you. Cool. And I'm going to have to keep my character's information opened during that. Because hey, 130, 130, it's even. Sweet. That's what I was hoping for. It's not going to stay even, I know for sure, but it's cool that it's even right now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of my credit right here to buy myself 60 minutes of double experience as opposed to 1.5. I'm going to activate it right there. And give myself Elite Novice. Then run Magneto's normal mode. After I make a party, of course. 
Do do do. Normal mode. Cool. Now I can go to this, activate my double experience, and you can watch me level up after every kill. Ready for this? I don't think you're ready for this. Boom, level up. Twice. Boom, level up three times. No level oh. up. Two more level up. Or one more level up, rather. There you go, I'm already level 49. I haven't even got past the first row yet. Told you that would happen. You all didn't believe me, did you? You're gonna rapidly click. Hey! Get off the corner so I can actually attack you. Destroy, destroy, destroy. And destroy. And destroy. No level up. Okay, this is an AoE. Put it on F2, I guess. And I have enough to get this to level 10. This is level 10, or not. Then I have to save up experience from this boss instead of leveling up. Let's die. Don't even care about wasting my XP skill, I'm gonna level up again. Cool. Now I can get this up to max. Never mind. I guess I can only get up my. Cool. Hey, my aura. And Psychic Slash is gonna need to go down here. I guess I'm putting my AoE up here. So I can put Triple Slash here. Or Psychic Slash. I call it Triple Slash, but there's that. This is only like a 30 second buff or whatever, so I'll just keep it there. Not gonna worry about those packs right now. I will get to them when I get to them. I'll just pick those up off screen so I can get through this quickly because this video has dragged on long enough. Okay. Die. Soul Sting. Psychic Roar. Oh, bag expansions are required. <laughs> I didn't want to waste those yet, but it's fine. I'll just get this end back. Die, die, die. Done. Everybody dies, yay! Oh, why am I going that way? Cool. Don't need that yet. Alright, here I am at level 60. Almost done with Magnetos. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up these wings. Might as well. It's extra stats, right? Oh, and extra experience. I'll take that, for sure. All of you are going to die. Done. And I will activate this aura and just kill them all without attacking them. Good. All of you die. I feel like it's okay. Your pain brings me joy, wow. Screw you. Oh, I need to attack now. I don't know why I'm focusing on this, I just am. Dead, 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 dead. Disappear. 
dead and dead. I haven't even capped my experience yet. I don't think there's much else left in this part. I'm not gonna waste my AOE on this, there's only two people. And yeah, that was the last of it. Alright, then I go over here, and my bag is still almost full, this is ridiculous. That's another example of this server, that shows the drop rate is also insane. And I'm gonna gather these dudes up. I'm gonna gather up and use my AOEs on them, because I can. I like the Harbinger because of all of his AoEs. Oh crap. Ah, I just died! I thought I wasn't even paying attention, I just got wrecked. Okay, well, you're all... You're all buttholes. What am I doing? I need to get this. And I need to put this up here. I cannot believe I died. That's, wow. Example of Harbinger, I suppose, not being able to survive Onslaught. But then again, I don't know many classes, if any, that can survive Onslaught. And I wish one of you guys would have warned me. I don't want to have to run all the way back over there. Y'all didn't even try to warn me. You're mean. I thought y'all cared. Oh, it's Harbinger Gear. Slayer. Enchantress. Champion. Rages. You know you play this game too much when you can just look at the item and know what class it's for. <laughs> or look at the name of the item, like Golden Luminous. That's the level 45 champion set. Luxon, or Luxon is the level 45 duelist set. And so on. Okay. Come on. Deconstruct. Deconstruct. I probably should have activated my auto potion before I came all the way out here. But it's fine. I'll just do that and kill them. Dang, I'm getting wrecked. What is up with this? I guess it's true what they say of Harbingers. They are indeed very squishy class. There's something I will teach you about the Harbinger if you didn't know. Don't try to take on big mobs until end game when you have good control of your uh, freaking auras. Otherwise, you're going to get destroyed by mobs. Because Harbingers are one of the like, weakest classes in terms of defense. Their attack, if you get the right combos, are off the charts, but in, as a general rule, they're not going to have good defense at all. You die, you die. I don't even have my pet out. Summon. Yes. Dead. Dead. And dead. Cool. Now all I have is the boss, and then I will end the video. Yay! I hope I didn't annoy you guys too much with the link to this video or my voice, because I'm sure that's also very annoying. Uh, let me see what I can do here. Shadow Aura. Now I can do ridiculous amounts of damage. Yay! Wow. I hate the freaking update on this guy. Oh my god. Just did 10,000 damage at level 64. Get him, get him, get him. Yes! As you, as you can see right there, Harbingers do a lot of damage. Okay. And as you can also see here, I am level 64, which means I am almost level 70. Just from one run of Magnetos on normal. Okay. With that, I will be ending this video. Hope you all enjoyed it, and if you did, make sure you give it a like, and if you didn't, then I'm sorry, 
I don't know what I can do. I guess just let me know that you didn't like it and I'll apologize to you in the comments or something. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, I will see you all in the next video where I will be doing more instances and leveling up very quickly. Until then, goodbye.